Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another concert day get ready with me. Featuring this very classically Anna, like throwing it back old school Anna look with a red lip, but this time with a slightly kind of smoky liner eye, I thought it was really pretty, using my Natasha Denona Glam palette amongst a few other things that I have shot my stash for. Alrighty. Going in with my L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. Give myself a nice bit of a glow. And I love using this product or any kind of sort of glowy primer underneath the foundation that I'm gonna use. And obviously this is not cruelty free. Most of the things I'm using today are, but this is just a product that's in my collection. I'm trying to work my way through. I have quite a few bottles of it as well. So it'll probably be a very long time. But the foundation that I have been loving for days where I actually wanna wear a proper foundation, something with maybe a little more coverage than my beloved Purito BB Cream. It's the number seven match made custom blend foundation drops. And this is in the shade Porcelain. I talked about these in my last favorites video. Um, so I thought it was a good idea to use them in today's video so you could see what they look like on my skin. I love the finish of them. I love the shade. I love the coverage level. It's full coverage, but not like cakey. Um, I tend to use these straight on the face. I don't really use them as like a mixing product. I did try mixing them into this primer, but I found that it didn't look quite as nice as just using the primer directly underneath. And I typically use a sponge most of the time, but I'm gonna use a brush today. This is just a little Bobbi Brown foundation brush. It's always a phase. I'm either in a sponge phase or a brush phase, and we're in a brush phase at the moment. So put a little bit on there, and I'm just gonna like blob that around my face and start with a light layer, build it up. The only reason I've gotten back into a brush is because my sponges, I've kind of run out of any sponges, any clean new sponges. And the one I'd been using was starting to look a bit haggard, so I just haven't replaced it yet. So I pulled out this brush to use and I was like, hmm, kind of digging like the brush life for a while. So that's what we're doing. And actually, I really love this brush for cream bronzer. It's what I've been using like to finish up the very last remnants of my <laughs> Chanel bronzer, as you can see. It works really well actually with a brush, so I'll need to try my Denisa Myricks bronzer with the brush, see if it works. One thing that's nice about using like a brush compared to a sponge is you don't have to go and wet it beforehand, which is always a bit of a faff. So that's all I'm probably gonna do for foundation. I'll use concealer to like cover up any spots that I have, but it's just such a nice finish. I know under this lighting, cause I'm kind of using half artificial, half natural, it can look a little bit yellow, maybe, especially compared to my hands. I don't know, they pull really pink on camera. But in real life, it actually matches really nicely to my neck. And I really like it. So, such a gorgeous finish. I'm just going to use my Hourglass Concealer just to put, like, a little bit of extra coverage where I like it. Some little dots on the top of there. A little bit under my eyes. We'll go pretty full coverage because this is, obviously, stage makeup, so kind of want it to be pretty high coverage. The foundation itself gave a really like solid, what I'd call like low full coverage finish just with that one layer and you can build it up. I'm just using that same brush, just make it easier. <laughs> it's nice too, it's actually not too big this brush, so it fits really nicely like around the eye in that. It's actually really nice for concealer. Man, <laughs> this hourglass concealer just has so much coverage. This is their Vanish concealer in the shade cream which I love the shade of this as well it's like a really nice not too dark but not too light sort of concealer shade I don't know if my microphone is going to be picking up some pretty intense bird noises <laughs> happening outside my window it's sort of just about to head into roosting hour very soon in about another hour's time or so so they're all getting ready to like settle in for the night I'm just going to go in and set that with my little EG Lips Barbie powder. Still been absolutely loving this. And I'm going to use maybe a little more powder than I normally do for like day to day. Just because, again, stage makeup, I need it to last. So I've definitely set a lot down here on my chin, <laughs> my violin rests. Not that that stops it coming off, but it maybe helps a little bit. I don't know. Better than nothing. Um, put a little bit across my eyes to set those. Down the sides of my nose. I'm kind of going to put it everywhere, to be honest. It does soak in nicely, and the natural glow of my skin does come back um, once it's sort of absorbed in, but just really don't want this makeup to budge tonight. So bronzer, I'm going to use a powdered bronzer. I'm going to use this one from Milani. I haven't pulled out for ages. I did a little sort of shop mustache <laughs> before we started this to pick out some products I don't normally use on like my daily rotation. This is their bronzing powder in number one. So it's a really beautiful undertone. It's like not too orangey. 
um, but also not super cool like a contour. I still want my bronzer to warm up my face. I just don't want it to be like orange. So I really love the undertone of this. I've owned this for about a year or so and it looks like I've hardly used it. The imprint is still so perfect and it's, there's like no powder in the pan, but that's because it's a very like unpowdery powder. Like it offers no kick up whatsoever. Like you brush your brush across it and it just doesn't really kick anything up, um, which I quite like in a bronzer. Um, because it means it's not super pigmented like on the skin so it's quite hard to do too much um, I'm just using my Flower Beauty powder brush to apply it I love using a powder brush for bronzer it creates just such a nice soft diffused look so I'm just going to pop this across my cheeks and just kind of press it in a little bit more pull it up onto my temples so the concert tonight is actually the last concert in my Tutti trial for the orchestra so in case you haven't been hanging out here very often lately um in november last year i auditioned for a position a tutti violin position which means like not a principal role um with the christchurch symphony they usually just keep their non-principal players like string players um on contract but they've opened up a few permanent salaried positions within the orchestra which is pretty cool so that's what i auditioned for in november as soon as we had like gotten back here from australia um, and I'm only just finishing my trial now. It's like such a process to try and get a job as an orchestral player. Um, if you're curious about seeing a little bit more about that, I'll link up my audition video. However, that video is actually um, when I was auditioning for the principal second role. So I'm not trialing for that job until end of June, July sort of period. So we won't find out about that until at least August, I'd say. But as I say, today's the last concert in my Tutti trial. So I should find out maybe even today maybe even while i'm filming but if not um definitely soon so i will let you guys know what the verdict is it's a really great concert so we're doing tchaikovsky's swan lake suite tonight which is accompanying the tchaikovsky violin concerto that our concert master martin risley is actually performing and we have a little glinker overture as well to start off the night so it's a really nice rep beautiful to play as a violinist just gonna whip back in with makeup info <laughs> for highlighter i'm using this burberry highlighter number in number one again not cruelty free but one that is already in my collection but it is a beautiful highlighter it's a really like white based kind of pearly highlighter but not too pigmented in that it just gives a lot of glow and a lot of gloss it doesn't leave like a white stripe on your skin which some white based highlighters can it's just beautiful and for stage i do love to pull out the powder highlighters they just catch the light much better i think than a um sort of glossy balm or liquid highlighter a little bit up on my cheekbones i think you can see on this side with the artificial light it like really catches the thing i don't love about powdered highlighters and why i kind of don't use them on a daily basis is they can look a little bit like they're sitting on top of the skin so it's a good tip to go back in with your foundation brush and just kind of blend the edges in a little bit Kind of wish I'd started with my highlighter to be honest so I'll just put my a bit more bronzer on just to again sort of blend it in a little bit for blush I'm just going to use my little Clinique cheek pop blush and melon pop just on my little Surat beauty blush brush I love this colored blush it's so nice it pairs really nicely with a red lip so that's kind of why I pulled it out for today I'm gonna do a nice little classic red lip for tonight because I did a little bit more of a intense smoky eye in my last concert get ready with me so we'll do a bit more of a classic little vintage red lip look for brows I'm gonna use this it's the Mecca Max brow guru tinted gel now you will have heard me talk about this heaps before over the last sort of few makeup related videos but I was using the shade medium which worked quite well when I had like quite a lot of darkness in my hair but I went and picked up the shade Fair because I felt like since my hair is a bit lighter now um, and until my roots really grow in, I mean they're starting to peek through again but I feel like in those first sort of two months after getting my hair done, my hair always feels so much brighter and, and I feel like a lighter brow gel just would work better so I got the lighter shade. So I'm just going to brush this through and I might use a bit of a pencil on the outer part of my brow if I feel like I need it. We'll see how we go. I just love this brow gel, it's very similar to the Glossier Boy Brow. See, even that colour is still quite bold. <laughs> I still prefer my brows to be slightly darker than my hair, um, but these, yeah, definitely still pretty bold. For eyeshadow, I thought I would dip into my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Haven't used this one here for a while. Out of all the palettes I currently have in my collection, honestly, this is probably one of the ones I use the least and enjoy the least, which was very surprising. I only have a few palettes left. I think it's like maybe five actual palettes. 
plus two little like magnetic palettes that have singles in it. So very few eyeshadow palettes left. They're all neutral. They're all neutral, neutral palettes. I think this one is just missing a couple of the shades that I love like on a daily basis that something like the ColourPop That's Taupe palette has. Like some of these more sort of mauvey shades. I don't know. There's some, I love this palette. I use it on the daily. It sits in my little everyday makeup kit. But this one, I really only pull out when I sort of feel like using it. So I don't know if that if I knew how I would feel right now, whether I'd go back and rebuy it. I think I'd probably save myself $100. It is nice. I enjoy using it. It's just not, it doesn't wow me. And I think for like the price of a Natasha Denona palette, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I think I probably would prefer to stick to my ColourPop ones. I'm going to go in with the shade Transition and a transition brush. And we'll just do a little light look anyway. It won't be anything too fancy pants. And then I'm going to take the shade Crease <laughs> and just pop a little bit of this on more like the outer crease, <laughs> the outer part of my crease. I think it might even be more to do with my skin tone in this palette where the colors are quite pigmented so I find them a little bit harder maybe to work on like my complexion because the shade transition is a better crease shade for me and then the shade crease is a much better like defining kind of shade um, as opposed to your traditional kind of crease shade that you might sort of use in the way that I use the transition shade. I don't know if that makes sense but I feel like it might be that this palette is a little better suited for people with more like medium kind of skin tones rather than super fair. It does lean quite sort of smoky. Whereas I find that like that's taupe palette works really beautifully on my, my complexion. So it could just be, yeah, kind of specific to my skin tone. This is a little hourglass brush. It's a number four brush. I've had this for years and it's lasted pretty well. I use it mainly for like detailed crease work. So I'm sort of applying that shadow like to the lid a bit as well as a little bit on the outer part of the crease. Sort of in the outer V. I just use a little bit of that on a pencil brush. Just put a tiny bit, yeah, under the eye as well. And then I'm gonna go in with a shade Smoke, which is this medium kind of brown and little flat shader. This is from Refer. And I'm just going to build up a little bit more of that colour on the outer half of the eye. Just need something slightly deeper. It actually looks really nice. But the thing, I think that's the thing with this palette. I love the matte shades. I think it's the shimmers in here that I'm kind of like ho-hum about. Because the mattes do perform beautifully and I love them. I don't even really think there's much of an inner corner shade in here that I like. Like they're not the right tones. This one is too kind of pewtery. So I think I'm just going to go in with the Burberry highlighter. Then I'll just use this little flat shader brush. This is from EXO Beauty. Because I just want a little brightness in there, but I don't really want like a chunky shimmer or anything. Just a sheen. Alright, I'm just going to tight line with this eye pencil. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting. And I'm also going to run a little bit of that on my top lash line. I think I might do a bit of like a smoky wing with this. So I might just use my pencil brush to kind of smudge that out a bit. Hmm, that's not smudging very well. Maybe this pencil is a little old. And I'm going to grab this shade lash line in the middle here on that same pencil brush. And we'll just smoke this into that pencil. Okay, I'm actually really starting to like this look a lot. <laughs> I think it's just not an everyday palette. That's the main thing. It's a glam palette, as the name suggests. And so for me, it's one that every time I do a bold look, like a smoky eye or something, I'm always like, it's nice. But of course, for day to day, it just doesn't have those kind of very subtle, soft colors that work well on my complexion. So... Maybe I was being a little bit harsh on it. I'm just going to do a little line of liquid on the top as well, just to get it really close to the lash line. So I'm just going to use this one from Essehan, I believe is the brand. It's not written on it, but it's this little Japanese one I got off YesStyle. Um, the Heroine Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. It's a waterproof one as well, which would be great if my eyes get a little bit watery. So I'm just going to run that. Yeah, just really close to the lash line. And then I'm going to put a little bit of nude liner on my waterline. This is the nude color of that same Essence extreme lasting eye pencil then I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara I'm using this one from Tarte such an old school mascara the lights camera lashes 
I ordered something from them a couple of months ago and in it came a little free you know like gift with purchase there was a wee mini blush and this mini mascara and it reminded me how much I actually love this mascara so I might mm -hmm. repurchase like a full size when my actually I think this is my last black mascara anyway so yeah when this runs out I might even repurchase the full size it's such a great mascara that's really volumizing it has a nice natural bristle brush which I love and it's cruelty free I mean that looks like false lashes I've got to zoom you guys in for this it's amazing look at the difference that is not a false lash Ugh, I don't think I'll put falsies on tonight this is really good I hope it's not one of those situations where the mini size is better than the full size I'd be pretty sad if I ordered a full size and then I didn't like it um, the only thing I'll say is that this mascara, I don't like it as much on the lower lashes because it is quite volumizing and dry. I just, I don't know, I feel like a wet mascara I prefer on the lower lashes so it actually just paints them and defines them. That's all I want. Whereas this kind of was a bit chunky to kind of like get on there. Ah. But um, that's not a big deal. I, t I sometimes use a separate lower lash mascara anyway. So. so now I'm going with my lippy and yes, I'm doing a bright red today. I thought that'd be kind of fun. So I might just go in and line my lips with the NYX um, Spicy Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, going old school with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bezo. This lip, this lip liner always comes off quite pinky on the lips, um, so it doesn't always match the exact colour of the lipstick, but it'll be right. <laughs> I haven't worn a liquid lipstick in so long. They're quite good for stage though, because you know, they don't budge, um, and I don't have to touch up my lipstick like all night, so they're quite useful. That's pretty much when I only wear them, is for like, special occasions or performances. All right, so that's the finished look there. I had to move my camera a bit because I'm running out of natural light. So we're very much relying now on this little baby ring light mirror, <laughs> which isn't the most flattering, but you get the idea. So happy with how it turned out. I think the eyes are really pretty, but they're not too smoky so that it looks too much with the lip, if you know what I mean. Like the red lip's still very much the statement here. And I just curled my hair using my GHD and gave them a brush through. Maybe another little brush through. I love a good brush through vintage curl. The last time I did one of my concert day get ready with me's you were all asking to see a picture of what I was wearing as well so before we wrap this video up I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. So this dress is from the brand Barriano. It's an Australian store. I bought it while I was living over in Melbourne. It's just a long full length gown. It's like very fitted through the body and then it just flares at the bottom kind of like mermaid style. Sorry this mirror is just in the worst place or rather the seat here is in the worst place. Maybe that gives you guys a better look there. So yes yeah, very form fitting with a little flare at the bottom and I've just got these little heels on from Mi Piace. And it's just a very pretty kind of shape like kind of sits on the very like top of my shoulders. Woo! Check out them guns, girl. <laughs> Climbing muscles. But that's it from me today. So I hope you guys enjoyed another concert day. Get ready with me. I've just had a message from my friend as well who said they're not gonna actually let us know about the jobs now for a couple of weeks. So that's fun. But if you are dying to know, definitely go over to my Instagram at Anna Elaine and I will definitely let you guys know over there when I first find out. Editing Anna here. I just wanted to jump on in and let you know that I did actually pass my trial. Yay! I just got the email today. Um, it's about 10 days after this video was filmed. So that's very exciting. I officially have a part-time salaried job with the CSO. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today and getting ready with me. I'm going to head off to my concert now and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't be alone.